Okay, moving on. Comment out HTML. Here we go. Remember that in order to start a comment, you need to use the bracket exclamation point dash dash. And to end a comment, you need to use dash dash uh, bracket. Here you'll need to end the comment before your H2 element begins. So what they're trying to get us to do is comment out the H1 element and the P element, but not the H2 element. So this is the H2 element. This is the H1 element. This is the P1. They want us to see the H2, but not the H1 and the P. So we can do it one of two ways. We can add the beginning. What we have is, this is where the comment begins. This is where it ends. We could do it one of two ways. We could just delete the comments and do it again. So we just delete the comments, just like we did in the last one, and then press command backslash, command backslash, and then we would have it done. Or we could go back to the way that it was initially, and we could just add in the beginning of a comment and the end of a comment, and that would give us the same result. The problem with doing it this way is that if you use the hotkey, it won't work. So it makes more sense to use the hotkey than it does to do it manually. And um, just because I like to make all my code look clean and polished and professional at the end, we're going to do it with the hotkey at the end. And so I just comment those out, and that's how it works. Commenting is very useful. Hope you guys enjoy this. We'll see you in the next one. After it passes. It passed.